Hey guys, welcome back to the Arkham Reporter channel. Today we'll be doing an article discussion video. But unlike all my previous article discussion videos, this is a good article. And it's not disrespecting Lovecraft at all. And the author of the article is a legit knowledgeable person when it comes to Lovecraft. Uh, but their premise, the well, the, what this video is about, is that they stated in their article, uh, it's a guy I think, so he stated in his article, why the Cthulhu mythos is primed as the next big horror universe. And this is in the context of Hollywood films, right? So I really cannot get behind this whatsoever. I've thought about making a video about Lovecraft and Hollywood a few times, but then it just sort of seemed like the bleeding obvious to me. And I think a lot of you would have also said like, no, it's pretty obvious why Cthulhu uh, mythos hasn't really stri uh, struck gold in Hollywood yet or will. So the article itself, there's no like real key points that I want to uh, address here. And uh, no hard feelings towards this Reese Taylor guy. You know, nothing against him. I mean, he seems like a legit guy. He even goes, uh, points out that, um, you know, you have like things like the Conjuring Universe and Universal Monsters. Those franchises which are like having a good and evil dynamic. And then you have Lovecraft where there is no good and evil. Even if you take a story like um, the Dunwich Horror, right? where you have, well, essentially humans facing off uh, elements of the great old ones. It's not really good versus evil, rather when a cat and a mouse are in the kitchen, right? And the mouse hides behind the cupboards. It's not really good versus evil, right? It's, it's just survival or something that's vastly more dangerous than you are and stronger, you know? So I wouldn't really call it good and evil. But I mean, the fact that he even knows about this sort of thing, and it's not really common knowledge with uh, Joe Normy out there. So um, yeah, points for him. So there's nothing really in the article itself besides the premise that I want to discuss. But I'll put the link where you can read the whole article itself. And then yeah, you can read that yourself. I'll just uh, tackle the premise why I think that the Cthulhu mythos is, is not primed to be the next big horror universe. And um, well, I mean, my reasons are quite simple, actually. Uh, first of all, I don't think anyone is going to get it right. Like, I'm not one of these people that says that you cannot adapt cosmic horror, Lovecraftian horror to film. The Thing did it perfectly. Alien also did very well. You know, there are a bunch of other films out there who are just really were able to grasp that feeling. But it's very difficult. And I don't think that... Okay, well, think of it like this. This guy, there are films. But these films which do Lovecraft right, they're not massive films. But he states here in this article that it's going to be the next big horror universe. So the words big and universe, you know, you're thinking, oh, wow, like the conjuring, like the, the dark universe, which was kind of flopping, right? With the, the mummy release with Tom Cruise, that kind of flopped. That was supposed to turn into a whole universe. But, you know, he's thinking big here. And this is uh, where I just think it goes completely off rails because you don't have enough competent people in Hollywood who would do this, right? I think they'll go into like horror films are pretty easy to make they're stock standard they follow um they follow a, a trend you know sort of like a paint by numbers kind of thing when it comes to making them and this is why they're so prolific pro, uh, prolific proliferant <laughs> uh, i'm losing my english living here in switzerland uh in um in hollywood because they're easy to make they're low cost uh in budget and that type of thing and people suck them up, you know. There's no shortage of horror fans out there. And uh, sales are obviously good enough. But these types of formulas will not work with Lovecraft. His stories are not really um, designed for jump scares and some evil demonic entity, you know, that comes out and says, Booga, 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 oh, scary, you know. And then everyone screams and, and it doesn't work like that. It, it won't work like that. Sure, you could have some elements like a, a deep one jumps out of the water and there's your jump scare, but it's it will be deeply insulting to just instill the terror into the audience via these methods. So I don't think that the writers in Hollywood will be able to do this, to be able to understand Lovecraft enough. And if you, if you did have some writers who were able to do so, I think the studios would just be like, well, this is not what we've, this is not what we've been doing lately. Go back to the writing board, put in some jump scares, things like this. I just think that's what's going to happen there. And I, I just don't have any faith that there is the ability to turn this into something very big. Of course, you can have one-off films, but remember this article is stating that it's going to be like a horror universe. Now, of course, you could form um, 
just say the stars aligned, right? And you got the best writers and you had hundreds of millions in the budgets for these films. Yes, you could make a horror universe in film of Lovecraft stories. There's no shortage of content. And even then you could, you know, uh, uh, get a little bit flexible, you know, with the stories to make something fresh. Like if you look at um, Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, that video game from 2005, I think, they took various elements of various Lovecraft stories and blended them together and made something quite fresh. It was very enjoyable and you went into the game not really always knowing what's going to come. So yes, the potential is there, but it's just not going to work. Let's be realistically. Let's be realistic. Uh, in regards to, well, okay, let's talk about budget. Uh, what is the name brand recognition for Lovecraft? People might know Cthulhu, right? Because, I mean, he was in South Park. He's in some cartoons for kids, uh, plushy toys, and it's kind of like a meme figure. You know, you see Cthulhu in some memes uh, every now and then. But most people know Cthulhu. If anyone knows anything about Lovecraft's universe, they'll probably know Cthulhu before then, no Lovecraft. So you want to build a whole mythos around that? I don't think so. I just don't think a studio is going to say, "Okay, here's your fifty million. All right, go make an excellent film." Uh, and they'll be thinking, "Okay, but who's going to go watch?" Right? You and I will. You, my viewers here, obviously will. I will. A lot. I know a lot of people would, but uh, I just don't think it's it's possible that. They would give enough money and resources and time, all right? Because you've got to realize when they make films, they're under a deep time constraint. Uh, time is money, and they want to get these films out quick. This is how horror films are made these days, I'm afraid. Um, it's just, it just wouldn't work. So there's no brand recognition, really, as there is for... Well, he mentioned in this article the Universal Studios monsters, so Frankenstein, Dracula... Um, you know, werewolves, the wolfman, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, all these things have some sort of historical, more mainstream recognition than Lovecraft, right? So that's another point where I think it just wouldn't really pick up. And then we also have some sort of, uh, well, let's just be honest, some socio-political issues. Uh, cancel culture is a massive thing in the world today. Well, in the West, I should say. I, I don't think they have that shit in Japan. Thank Christ. But, um, yeah, we have that here, right? And everything that is released from Hollywood has an agenda in it, right? It's not just me saying it. I mean, if you can't see it by now, that the Hollywood films, they push narratives. They push ideas. And also with the whole race-swapping thing, let's just be honest, it's Lovecraft. Lovecraft does not get much respect at all in the mainstream whatsoever. And people with an axe to grind, I'm looking at the writers and the studios, people with an axe to grind, oh, and they will grind their axes against Lovecraft to subvert our expectations and to make Lovecraft for a modern audience. That's a new one that's always coming. You know, it previously was always about subverting our expectations. Now it's making a film for the modern audience. Yeah, that's what that treatment will be given to Lovecraft. So you will not find a film made with honest intentions when it comes to adapting a Lovecraft story in the context of big Hollywood production type of thing. It just would not happen because they hate him, you know. If people, you know, the Joe Normies out there who have maybe heard of him, oh, they'll think, oh, no, 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 he, he's he's the racist guy. He's he's bad. The cat's name, oh, my God. Innsmouth is, is terrible because uh, we have diversity in Innsmouth and it's good. And they'll push these kinds of narratives. You know it, I know it, okay? So it just would not work in this regard as well. Finally, I, I would just say that it's it's a dream. I mean, it would be very nice if it was done well and with love and respect. But if it's not, it's not really going to kick off, I think, at all. And if you want an example uh, to just go away from theorizing... Look at Guillermo del Toro, right? A competent filmmaker, although someone posted... Where was it? I was watching a Blade, Blade 2, like a video clip from the film Blade 2, which Guillermo del Toro was attached to. And then someone said that he is better as like a set designer and artistic designer rather than a director, right? Anyway, just a throwaway line there. 
Gulam the Toro wanted to make at the Mountains of Madness, right? And he had big plans for it. And uh, I trust the guy enough not to fuck it up. I think he is competent enough. I mean, I've watched many of his films and I've liked them all. But they shot him down. And he wanted to do At the Mountains of Madness. That one is one of the films which I think could be really well adapted. The potential's there. Like, I'm just thinking, because some of the stories of Lovecraft are just like, how, how do you put that to how do you put that to film it's it's difficult but at the mountains of madness yeah you can see it happening it's not just talking talking and then the horror is discovered and no it's not like that so the potential is there but he wanted to get a budget of something like a hundred million i think or a, a little bit less around there and the studio said <laughs> jog on jog on sir you're not getting it and then there was also uh, i believe some uh, delays with script writing uh, casting as well. Uh, it was just in the preliminary phases, but nonetheless, uh, the film is it's not even in uh, what do they call it, the limbo, production hell or l production limbo. It's not even there. It's just it's a, it's just, it's just a concept. And if you can't even get, if you have Guillermo del Toro pushing for it, and I know he wasn't just like, mm, how do I pay the bills? I need a new yacht. Oh, I know, I'll adapt Lovecraft. No, he is actually a Lovecraft fan, you know, and um, he couldn't even get the people, the studios behind him. So it's just a very bad sign, a real red flag about the potential of Hollywood making the next big horror uh, mythos or the next big horror franchise focused on Lovecraft. Anyway, it's not a long video, but this is something I wanted to address. And also, I just want to be more productive as a YouTuber, and I don't think I upload enough. And I think also not just making content, I should also get into the habit of doing it and practicing being more comfortable in front of the microphone without a script. So, yeah, I thought this would be a fun one to make and address uh, some issues regarding the Lovecraft mythos and uh, its potential for the next uh, horror franchise. So... No offense to this Reese Taylor guy if you end up watching this. You made a good article there. And uh, yeah, I just don't see it happening really. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. And believe me, if I'm wrong, I'll be very happy about it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, links in the description where you can support the channel. Where you can also read this article. And also where you can pick up some of the Bizarre Archives books. Now, a lot of people ask me. Uh, what should I read after I'm done re reading Lovecraft? I want some modern day uh, cosmic horror, weird fiction, pulp fiction. Go to thebizarrechives.com, pick up some editions there. Very good pricing and great stories. I give my thumbs up to them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check you out in the next one.